the Emelinarda Valley, the Upper Valley, and the Emelinarda Ridge have been synonymous of Pinot Noir for a long time. Um, one of the new players is Tessa Lars Dahl. We got a Pinot Noir 2020. What do you have in your glass, Cathy? I have a very pretty Pinot Noir. The colour is beautiful. It's translucent, but it's got that um, fresh cherry look to it. So nice cherry colour. The nose too is cherry fruit, pure cherry fruit. And it's got for me also a slightly bready, what I call bready or yeasty aromatic, which I think is just a particular oak that is used on the wine. It's not very forthcoming. It's actually quite a quiet Pinot Noir that doesn't announce herself with a shout. She announces herself with a whisper. And on the palate, pa Pinot Noir and acidity, this has really got some beautiful acidity that helps lift the cherry fruit. It's very, very fruitful. And then the tannins are so soft and silky. It, they just glide over the palate and then meld effortlessly into the aftertaste. It's really lovely. So we are on the MLNR the Ridge, so the higher portion of um, this group of three regions mostly dedicated to Burgundian cultivars. Cooler, more clouds, avoiding, avoiding the, the Pinot Noir to burn, therefore offering a longer maturation period on the vine. Interesting colors, but as well, interesting fruit, and the acidity is not compromised at all uh, compared to the body of the wine, which is, I mean, we look at Pinot Noir, we're not looking at a, at a massive wine, but still, there's palate weight on that wine that's supporting the cherry fruit you were uh, referring to. So it's a pretty wine because there are pretty notes of cherries, um, pretty lifted fruit, um, pretty fruit on the palate. But she, this young pretty thing is no pushover either. Um, she's got a very distinctive personality and she shows her personality and there's hidden power in the wine as well. I can feel the hidden power and you know I'm will be curious to see how this wine is evolving because this prettiness doesn't mean that the wine is necessarily already open it's still 2020 Jeez. still young still have a lot to give and we can see a lot of blue hint and purplish uh, color on on your side on the white paper maybe something to look for when you will try to identify uh, this uh, Tessalas Dal and 2020 Pinot Noir exciting new player in the industry of Pinot Noir. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.